Hi, let's see the chi-square test or goodness to fit test for computer simulation and modeling. The sampling method used is a simple random sampling and the variables which are under study will be each categorical, that is they belong to each category. Now, the important thing that needs to be considered is the significance level. The significant level can be equal to 0 0.01, 0 0.05, or 0 0.10 that we can take but it is usually a value between 0 and 1. The test method is for to check the independence to determine whether there is a significant relationship between any two categorical variables. It can be even done for single variables of time. Now the important things that we need to remember is a degree of freedom. The degree of freedom df is equal to r minus 1 into c minus 1. Now r stands for row and c stands for columns. Test statistics that is the formula we use for the chi-square is equal to summation of observed value r comma c is the observations in the row and column minus the estimated value in the rows and the columns. The square of that divided by the estimated values of the rows and the columns. We will see in the example how we implement this particular test statistics. The p-value is the probability of observing a sample statistics as extreme as a test statistics. That is how we compete the p-value and then find out whether it clears the chi-square test or no. Now this is an example taken from the web which says that there are 256 people, visual artists, who are surveyed to find out about their zodiac signs. And the hypothesis is the zodiac signs are equally distributed across the visual artists. This is what is a null hypothesis that is derived from here. So we have the numbers over here of the visual artists who belong to various zodiac signs. Let's see how we implement this test. Now this is the table that we need to create when we use this test. So in the observed column we will write down the values that we have got in the question. So all these values you will see from here 29, 24, 22 are listed down as it is in a particular column. Now the count is the number of observations which are there. So as we list them down we see there are 12 observations which are there. So we are going to compute this particular observation on the 12 observations. We need to find out the first thing is total of this observation which comes down to 256. If it is not given in the question that how many observations are there then usually as we add them up we get the total numbers. Otherwise if you see in the question here it is given as 256. Now what is expected? The expected is calculated with the value of total of observed divided by the number of observations which are there. So in this case it is 256 divided by 12. So 256 divided by 12 we get the answer as 21.33333. So this is what we get over here. So now the next step is observation minus expected. You see we usually did a row or a column when there were two variables. But here there is only one observed column on which we will be working on. So observation minus the expectation. So this is the observation 29 minus 21.33333 we get this value. Similarly we calculated it for all the 12 values over here. So we get the observation minus the expected values. The next step is observation minus expected square raised to the power of 2 or you multiply it twice. So this particular value we get the answer over here. Similarly we calculated for all the 12 observation and the next step is this divided by the expected value. My expected value is 21.33. So this value of 58.77777778 I am not rounding it off divided by this I get this final value. Now, when I get this final value for all my 12 expectations we need to sum them up. As we sum them up 
we get 5.09375. So this is the summation of observation minus expected raised to the power of 2 divided by expected. This is the statistics value for the chi-square test. So the statistics, statistics that we got is 5.094. I have rounded off 5.09375 to 5.094. Now the degree of freedom was rho minus 1 multiplied by column minus 1. Here we have only one value. So there were counts as 12. So 12 minus 1 is 11. So the degree of freedom is 11. The chi-square statistics is 5.094. Now let's see how we go further about it. Now this is a table that we need to follow to find out the p-value for my test. Now you will see here the statistical value is 5.094. So from this table which is known as a chi-square table we have to see that this is where my degree of freedom. This is where the degree of freedom is. I have made this table shorter till 15. The tables is available in a bigger form. So we have to see where the degree of freedom lies. So degree of freedom in our case is 11. So for this 11, where does 5.094 lie? So you see the 5.094 lies somewhere between here. So the chi-square value will be 0 0.900 and 0 0.950. So my value lies somewhere between these two values. So the p-value for the chi-square statistics of 5.094 and the degree of freedom 11 lies between 0 0.900 and 0 0.950. So it lies between the two. So as the p-value is greater than the level of significance, the level of significance is 0 0.05. Hence the null hypothesis is accepted. This is how my chi-square test will be used from the table. Thank you.